Hi guys, and welcome to another video lesson. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some big bad fills. So big bad fills isn't a proper musical term, it's just a cool name for this lesson. Although I do think these fills sound quite big, they're quite in your face, they're aggressive sounding fills. That was the idea behind them at least anyway. When we're done here today, you tell me what you think, but I think they're really big and aggressive and forceful sounding fills, ideal for rock music. The fills we're going to be looking at today use two main components, linear and unison notes. Quick recap on those two things. Linear is one thing at a time that has to include a foot. So something like right, left, right foot or left, right, left foot for lefties. And unison notes are more than one note at a time. If you've been studying these video lessons with me this term, you may have come across unison note builds, which is where we use the toms and the snare drum together. But unison notes can be a combination of any limb. So hands, hands and feet, doesn't matter. More than one drum at a time. That's what unison notes are. We're gonna build our fills up one piece at a time and we're gonna start with the linear idea. Now, right-handers, we're gonna play this just with our left hand and our foot. Left-handers, you're gonna play this just with your right hand and your foot. We'll use the other hand in a minute. The pattern is left, foot, foot, left, foot, left, left, foot. Lefties, turn that round, swap the left hand for a right hand. It's our non-dominant hand and our lead foot that we're using. The pattern repeats itself round and round. So the first half and the second half of the bar are the same. So I won't break the bar down. I'll just play the whole thing over and over at 70 beats per minute. Join in with me when you can. So to turn that linear fill into a big bad fill, we're gonna take our other hand, our right hand for right-handers, left hand for lefties, and we're gonna put it down on tom three. So now we're playing unison notes to go along with our bass drum. So it's gonna be both foot, foot, both, foot, both, both, foot. And the pattern will repeat round and round. Here it comes at 70 beats per minute. When you're playing unison notes, try not to flam the notes. So we don't want, we don't want the sticks coming down one after the other. We want them at exactly the same time. How do you do that? Rather than thinking about the sound, focus on the height of your sticks. Try and keep them at the same height. It also helps if you've got your toms and snare drums roughly the same height as well. That way you won't get natural flams coming off the two drums. Here's what it sounds like. So we've just learned a new fill. You must know what's coming next, guys. You've been having lessons for long enough now. Yes, that's right, it's a 3-1 resolve. Really important every time you learn a new fill to put it in context and play it with a groove. I've gone for a fairly standard quaver groove today. You can change that if you want to. Pick any groove you like. Be careful when you get to the end of the fill. We're gonna finish with a bass drum and the groove is gonna start with a bass drum as well. So we're gonna get that, we're gonna get that double bass drum effect. You may just want to practice the transition from fill to groove. Pause the video and work on just that bit. That's fine. Slow it down until you get a really smooth transition from fill to groove. Here we go.
So now we're going to turn that fill round a bit. Instead of starting with our hand, we're going to start with our feet. So we're going to play foot, left, left, foot, left, foot, foot, left. Left is turn all of these stickings around. I'll take the unison notes out and we'll just play that pattern round and round at 70 beats per minute. Right, now that we're comfortable with that, let's put the unison notes back in. So same drill as before, down on tom three and the snare drum. Here we go. Yes, you guessed it, we're now going to put that in a 3-1 resolve. This time, however, we're not ending with the foot, we're ending with a unison note. So we're ending with both hands down on the tom and the snare. This is actually quite tricky because we've got to get back to our crash cymbal to start the groove all over again. So we're used to finishing fills with one hand and then having the other hand free to start the groove. We're now also used to finishing fills with our foot like we did with the last fill and then coming back and starting again with the groove over here or over here. This time we're ending with both hands, basically, well, one hand I suppose, in the wrong place. We've got to go from here over to here. That's quite a stretch. Again, you may want to practice just the transition from fill to groove before you put the whole resolve back together. That's fine. Here comes the whole thing at 70 beats per minute. So there you have it, two big bad fills. They're not, okay, linear unison note combination fills, but that doesn't really, that doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? So today's fills were created by adding two ideas together, the unison notes and the linear pattern. Why not try creating your own fills by adding previously studied ideas together? If you've been looking at things like rudiments such as flams, why not try putting those in a fill? Or uh, we've looked at linear today, why not combine that with something else, like a new sticking pattern? If you've had lessons with me for a while, you'll know about my love of triangles. So I might decide to take something like a paradil and move it around in triangles. Those are multiple ideas shoved together to create new fills. If you're feeling brave, try more than two ideas, three or four ideas. The important thing here is that you come up with fills that you like, because you want to play them, but fills that are unique to you, fills that sound like you. When people listen to you playing, they should be able to say, ah, oh, that's whoever it is. That's them playing. I recognize their sound. That's what we're after, fills that sound like us. So that's it for today's lesson, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, please feel free to get in touch. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, stay safe, and enjoy your drumming, guys.